as you probably know by now, here at Sketchy, we take our puns very seriously. <clears throat> but couldn't resist starting this sketch without a cheesy dad joke. So where do vampires deposit their hard-earned money? The blood bank, of course. <laughs> I mean, come on, if you don't chuckle at that. There's the door. It's right, it's right there. Go on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, <sighs> the blood bank. That mysterious place where blood is somehow stored and magically makes its way to your patient when transfusion is ordered. But in order to make sure your patients get the blood products they need without killing them, it's important to understand what's really happening down there. To start, let's look at pre-transfusion testing. A patient's blood type is needed before giving most blood products. And by type, we mean those A's, B's, O's, and RHD positivity or negativity. This is to make sure that transfused products are compatible with the recipient's circulating antibodies. Blood type, or simply a type, is by far the fastest pre-transfusion test, taken just under a half hour. So this typing speed demon should remind you that. Sorry, Steven, you're right. You're a vampire, not a demon. My apologies. So sensitive. But type isn't all that useful. More testing is needed. The type and screen, both types and uh, screens, the patient's plasma for antibodies to any of the hundreds of other antigens on red blood cells. You didn't think ABO and RH were the only ones, right? Based on the results, the patient's profile is matched up with appropriate blood products they could receive. As a reminder, take a close look at this security x-ray screen detecting our vampire's suspiciously antibody-shaped cloak. And only the cloak. Well, turns out that the whole vampire and mirror thing works for x-rays too. And I gotta say, that's one heck of a pop collar. Finally, the type and cross involves typing, screening, and then mixing the patient's blood with specific units of banked blood. This is called cross-matching, or cross for short, hence our security guard's big ol' cross. Because who makes the best vampire bouncer? A priest, of course, complete with holy water and garlic breath. Did you get the garlic bagel again? Ugh. A type and cross reserves the matching unit for that patient, so don't order one for everyone, or there won't be any blood left in the hospital. 